there. My name is Caroline. I'm a staff counselor at the Student Counseling Center here at ISU, and I wanted to check in really quick to talk a little bit about election anxiety. Um, I don't know about you, but these times are feeling a little more tense and stressful. And if you're feeling anxious or tense or nervous about the upcoming election, I want you to know that you're not alone. I think there's a lot of reasons why this election may feel different. Um, and regardless of your political affiliation or opinions, this year has been rough for a lot of us. And the fact that we're still in a pandemic and there's still so much uncertainty and anticipation. Uh, I think we're all just hoping for some better days and we still don't know if that's gonna happen. So I wanted to talk a little bit about what you can do to manage the stress and help yourself a little bit if you can. Um, and also let you know that it's normal to be feeling this way. So first, um, what I would recommend if you are feeling election anxiety and stress is to try to disconnect where possible. So if you have the option to take a break from the news or social media or arguments with people who may have a different opinion than you, um, because that can be very stressful to try to talk to others who have opposing beliefs, um, I recommend trying to disconnect from that and kind of accepting where we're at right now and focusing on self-care and wellness and um, not allowing images and constant updates into our mind because there's very little that we can do right now about what's going on and fixating on things that are out of our control and things we can't change right now um, can make us feel really helpless and scared. So sometimes just taking a break from all that can make a big difference. Another thing I think would be helpful would be to connect and to seek out support in a different way. So rather than constant news and information, maybe joining one of our groups or chat boxes through the Student Counseling Center. So one of those would be our Navigating Change group, which meets on Fridays at 2 p.m. every week, and that is through Zoom, so social distant and safe. And that covers just how uncomfortable it is when things are uncertain and things are changing. Uh, another option would be to join one of our many chat boxes that we host every week, also through Zoom. Um, and all those links and information are on our website and I believe on the university calendar as well. We will be offering some election specific supports um, after the election, so starting next Wednesday. That will look like either an online support through a chat box, um, so connecting to a counselor um, through the internet and processing and debriefing if you need to, we will have that as an option. Um, in addition, in collaboration with several other departments on campus, we will be providing in-person debriefing sessions, um, socially distant and masked, of course. But if you are having a very hard time with any aspect of the election and you need to talk about it or process anything, I encourage you to contact us in, by phone or by email and check our website, check the university website for dates and times of, of those services that we're gonna be offering. Or if you just think you need to get into counseling because this has been too much for you and you wanna to talk to somebody one-on-one, -on -one, we can do that too. So disconnect from news and constant updates and seek support from people who can help you process and deal. And there's lots of different ways to do that. So if you need us, you can always call or reach out by email or check out our website. Thank you. See you soon.